the world of deep fakes is very very sinister. One study found that 96% of deep fake images are considered sexually explicit. Even more troubling, nearly all of them, all of them, feature women or girls who did not give their permission. It's an alarming trend that's growing fast, and today lawmakers introduced legislation to stop it. They were joined on Capitol Hill by women who have been personally impacted, including Dorota Mani and her 14-year-old daughter, Francesca. Francesca was among several students at a New Jersey high school who say pictures of them were manipulated using AI and turned into fake nude photos. Now, if this legislation passes, it'll be the first federal law against the creation of non-consensual deep fake pornography. Dorada and Francesca both join me now. Um, I thank so much. You guys are joining us from the Senate building. You've spent your day on Capitol Hill trying to stop other people from being victimized by this. Francesca, how did you first find out that there were fake AI photos featuring your face circulating about you? So, you know, what happened to me was not okay. Um, on October 20th, um, me and, and a few other classmates had AI nude photos made by other classmates. At first I felt helpless, and then after I got mad uh, about the lack of legislation and AI school policies. But now today I got to talk to con uh, Congress people, including Congressman Morelli and Congressman Kane, and um, I just feel super empowered knowing that I'm helping making a change. That's so great that you've been able to take a pretty awful chapter and turned it into something good. Torada, you guys were very frustrated that you got so little help from the school. A boy was eventually found after a school investigation. He was suspended for just three days. Is that true? That is true. And you know what's disappointing is not only that we are talking here about little accountability, but also that the school administration informed us that it was just one boy. Um, and you know, the community uh, really stuck behind us and I guess behave in a certain way towards that boy, where afterwards we found out there was multiple of boys that were involved in this incident. I have reached out on multiple of occasions to the school, asking them to clarify, not only to us, but also to the community, because it's not fair on, on both accounts, and there's lack of communication in that aspect. How many girls, well. how many girls were targeted by these deep fake nude photos? So the school informed me that uh, there were suspected 34 girls, but they never confirmed how many were actually victims. Um, so I guess that's a question to the principal or the police department. Yeah, and Francesca, I heard that one of the things that somebody told you guys was that, oh, don't worry, it's on Snapchat, and the, the photos disappear on Snapchat after a short, after a short time. You're a tech-savvy teenager. That's not necessarily the case, right? No, yeah, that's not the case. You know, digital footprint is out in the world, and even though they say it's gone, I don't think it is because of digital footprint. And Dorada, you're concerned about people taking uh, screenshots of those photos, so they don't just disappear. Uh, you know, that's one aspect of it. I'm more concerned, actually, of that image floating somewhere around. Not even that image, but rather her face, which I'm sure, uh, or I suspect, the actual um, app has uh, um, uh, rights to at this point. So I think that's more of my concern um, than the image itself. And I'm really concerned with the lack of legislation and really proud that hopefully after today we will have two AI bills on the table, one preventive and one simply black and white, which, you know, right and wrong, legal, illegal, that will protect, you know, girls and, um, and women. Because you're right, 96% are uh, women and children and 99% of the victims are female. You know, New Jersey does have strict laws about distributing sexually explicit photos of minors, including fake images. I guess I'm still unclear as to why that isn't enough, why you are in Capitol Hill today pushing for federal legislation. Is it because the state law clearly isn't enough? Oof. Oh, that's two of us. That's how I felt when, uh, you know, this whole mess started. But it's clearly not enough because the AI, it's not mentioned in any of the laws. Um, it's not considered anything at this point. So that's why we are advocating. I mean, at this point, it's not only women and children um, that are being affected by bored teenagers, like in our case. 
um, but there are also predators that will go after um, children, and that's just unacceptable. Yeah, it really is. Francesca, good for you uh, for standing up to the bully, so to speak, and uh, doing so much to help other kids, you know, get some protection. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.